It's more bigger and more beautiful than any any words. Every day. Yeah, every day. Every day. Yeah. This is what happens when you have an open heart and you have a priority. This is the birthright of every human being. Nothing special. This is completely ordinary. five years ago and uh, we met again recently and you've been now here in Spain and during the retreat uh, there was a, we sat together mm -hmm. and there was uh, something happening for you some energetic happening where you became very open that was about two weeks ago and mm -hmm. I'm wondering today what you're feeling inside today Just now I'm, I'm quiet inside, so I'm there. Close my eyes and I, mm, I come into the quiet, the quiet place. Right, right. When you say quiet, does that mean there aren't many thoughts? Yes, it's like a very quiet mind. It's not thoughts. Right, um. right. Okay, so um, in your daily life you have a son mm -hmm. who's one year and three months old, a mm -hmm. very active little boy. Yes. So how has it been in the last week or two with your son? living every day. Yeah, I, I, I felt these changes because before many, a lot of thoughts, many thoughts come to my mind and I think I live in my mind, not in present life, not really with my son. And now when the, uh, two, two weeks during these two weeks, uh, I felt this, uh, I'm, I'm more present and I'm more with my son because uh, not, not so many thoughts come to my mind. Sometimes thoughts come, come in, but only not stay, like across and come out. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, okay. Yes, yes. And... Um... So you can feel in the last two weeks that something has changed inside you? Yes. Yeah. And this is a good change for you? Yes, I like this. Yeah? Maybe, um, yes. Because it's, um, I, I feel myself more like alive. Uh, and uh, um, like um, feel 
лайф, мо тесті, мо, мо світ, а, мо нейчера. And you find that now when there aren't so many thoughts and you're more present, that in a way your life is more of a flow from moment to moment? Yes. Also I feel this because like time stopped because not not past, no future, like only present, this moment. And yes, it's it's a very good feelings. Maybe it's not feelings also. It's like only living, fo- following. Mm. Right, right. And um, during these two weeks, when you've had some, maybe after you've been sleeping, or you know you've been taking a walk by the by the Mediterranean. Mm-hmm. Do you do you feel again a kind of expansion inside? Do you feel yourself much bigger than you used to feel? Yeah, uh, I think maybe now um, now I don't feel like this, but one week ago, and uh, yes, I, I feel this like me not short, not like this. I I am very big. Not I. It's not not I. Not not, not this boarding. Only uh, mm, space, everywhere. Space. Yeah, 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 everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And does that affect? We're we're living here in Spain in a very beautiful garden. Yeah. Nature is very beautiful. We have a pond with beautiful fish. So, do you feel your uh, connection to the nature has also changed? Uh, sometimes when I walk in and only see some grass on the ground and it's um, for, like wonderful for me, I only stop and like um, um, merge, merges, merging with this uh, beautiful and when I see uh, on the sea, very beautiful sea, these waves, also I, I'm disappear in this uh, the beauty in this beauty yes yeah, yeah. and maybe also not only beauty I feel like everywhere love right right mm-hmm. right I mean I've known you now for about five years and uh, six years maybe and when I first met you you had a four years old little girl, Eva, mm-hmm. who's now nine years old and she's here with us. Mm-hmm. And uh, you were very, uh, clearly a very heartful, loving mother mm-hmm. to her. And she was a very unusual girl. And now ni- now she's nine, you know, she's very silent. And at the same time, there's a feeling of her being very conscious, very aware, actually. Mm-hmm of what's happening, but she doesn't talk very much. Mm-hmm. So probably already five years ago, you were a very heartful person. Is that right? Yeah, probably, yes. You like being a mother, for example? Uh, yes, because it's a lot of love. Yeah, right. A, a big job, but a lot of love. Right, right, right. And the uh, kids also are very present. Right. And uh, I only I only learn learn to life like kids because you only see, look to to children, and uh, this present life without thinking, right. without thoughts. Right. Right. So they're a good reminder every day. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, I'd like to take you back to uh, about two weeks ago when we were sitting together in Satsang. Yeah. And uh, I think we were just sitting quietly in silence, looking in each other's eyes. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, something started to happen. Could you maybe describe what was happening uh, for you? Uh, yeah, I remember this day 
it was like some mm, uh, s suddenly, suddenly exercise. And I come to satsang and uh, sit opposite you. Mm, a little bit uh, look to your eyes and after close my eyes and I felt how I fallen, fallen, fallen deep myself and uh, stay more quiet and quiet uh, but thoughts coming and uh, when you ask me uh, what, what now I answered that now I, I observed with when thoughts come coming and disappear and you help me with your uh, words that thoughts behind and in the front silence it was exactly true so when you look inside what you see Like falling. Hmm? Falling. Falling. Okay. Just just keep falling. So what's happening now? pain here in the back. Расширение, я не знаю, как это. Expansion. Expansion. Yes, so stay with this expansion. So allow this expansion just... Some sorts of climbing, but far, very fast disappear. The thoughts are in the back, and then the quiet is in the front, eh? Mm. No, yeah. Beautiful space. Beautiful space. Yeah. Okay. So stay in this beautiful space. And after I fall in very beautiful, very huge, beautiful space. Mm. I didn't have picture of this space. I only f felt something very soft and very beautiful. And at the same time, um, uh, one part of me, maybe it's upper part of my body or something else, um, merged merge it in this space, like uh, form one, be became one. And I also very clear saw that second part of my body, of me, can't um, come to this space. But it's not mm, prob problem for me, okay only quiet, only okay. And um, 
I think it was like surrender. To that, that space? Yes. That, that bigger space, the yes. big, beautiful big space? Yes. Because, okay, one, <clears throat> one part, I, I feel that I, uh, me, and this space, one. Mm. But not all of me, because something was very, like, hard, not, not, uh, not ready, not ready to merge. And after big uh, energy come to me from uh, feet, feet, my feet, my legs. And I felt like electricity in my hands, legs. You can let your body back if you like the chairs are very comfortable. the outside of course we could see everybody could see that something strong was happening because um, your body started to a little bit shake and uh, after some time your head kind of fell back mm -hmm. I think somebody supported you maybe yes I uh, but uh, all this process what happened it's not, not, not I didn't feel fear, 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 fear. fear about this. Right. Yes, it's all okay. Maybe, uh, maybe I I look looks like something strange and not so good. Maybe like you, but it's okay inside. It's all okay, and I felt this support from. Some, somebody come to me and uh, put yes, their hands, yes, yeah. put yeah. put my hand. I um, also uh, felt this um, um, support and this energy what come in my body uh, take care of me right. and outside people also take care of me right. Right. and it's, a ve it's very good it's very nice and beautiful right. because it's only like um, 
everything okay. Right, right. So that makes it easy to surrender to what's happening. When you could feel no fear, and you could feel everything's okay, yes. then it's easy to relax and surrender to the energetic so, things. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay, and then uh, <clears throat> after some time, I don't know, remember, maybe after 20 or 30 minutes, uh, somebody put you on a mattress so yes. you could lie down. Yeah. Maybe just live. And I felt uh, this shaking in the uh, uh, lower part of my body, uh, belly, legs, like uh, very shaking. Right. Uh, um, uh, I, I felt this energy and I felt pain in my um, hands. Oh, you felt pain in your hands? Hands. Some, some hands. cramping. Yes, cramping. like, uh, yes, uh, right. in legs. And when uh, en uh, energy um, up to hot, I want. Uh, I wanted uh, crying and smiling in the uh, same time, <laughs> like uh, a lot of laugh. Right, right. Mm. Yeah. But it was very um, soft, and very like I. I felt this um, take care, of, take care of uh, this energy uh, takes uh, take it uh, care of me. Not dangerous, not, not, not something bad. And after this two weeks has gone by, you still feel like that, do you? That there's nothing bad and you feel uh, relaxed in whatever's happening? Yeah, I, I felt um, well, after two, three days after uh, this happening, um, uh, it's like, oh, uh, maybe two or three days I I don't have thoughts <laughs> because it's so like um, uh, like miracle because uh, usually I had many thoughts in my mind and I live I lived in these thoughts 
and uh, some. So you you experience for two or three days almost no thoughts. Yes, no yeah. thoughts. Yeah. No, it's a very strong. It was a very strong feeling for me because I I di- I didn't uh, feel myself like this before. Right. And I understand that this uh, this is true. This is true. This natural life. It's more bigger and more beautiful than any any words. Every day? Yeah, every day. (laughs) Every day. Uh, Yeah. This is what happens when you have an open heart and you have a priority. This is the birthright of every human being. Nothing special. This is completely ordinary. And now, after two weeks, you you have some thoughts, yes. but they're not uh, not so strong. Not so strong. Not so strong like like before this happening. Right. I not um, like uh, sit in these thoughts and thinking right. and uh, thinking about past, thinking about futures. Right. N- not. Right. Yeah, everything became more natural, and yeah. you're just more present. Yeah. More presence and more like grounded, yeah. like more in now, in this yeah. moment. Uh, uh. And when when this happened uh, five years ago, because you had something similar happen five mm-hmm. years ago in a retreat, yeah. Uh, was it? Do you remember it also being what you're describing now, a big space, very beautiful space? No, uh, before I had. Uh, also this energy happening yeah. but it was very strong right. very strong in my body uh, it's longer in time more than 10 hours and uh, more pain right. and the more energy um, uh, my eyes and my head yeah. And uh, it was more maybe with fear.
and now it very it was uh, uh, last this happening it was more soft mm -hmm. softer and lovely and mm. yeah i mean i think uh, my experience suggests that the first time when we have something like this opening energetic opening we're going in a way from our normal sort of ego-based life where everything is me 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 suddenly something happens energetically and there's a tremendous expansion inside mm -hmm. and so usually it seems the first time is particularly strong because mm -hmm. you're going from strong ego bound to mm -hmm. suddenly suddenly free mm -hmm. Похоже, что нам кино смотреть уже не надо. Тут и так хорошее кино идет. The second time or the third time, it's not like that because it can be more gently because mm -hmm. something is already opened. Yes. And this thing that opens never completely closes. Mm -hmm. It's like the door opens. Maybe the door will close a bit because of your ordinary life. You mm -hmm. get a bit identified, but the door never completely closes. And so when it would happen again, the door is already a bit open. Mm -hmm. And so people experience that it's not so, um, doesn't, doesn't be painful, for example, not so painful. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like this, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like I, now I'm more ready for, for this happening. Yeah. And yeah. Like uh, already, already met this energy. Right, right. 
Yeah, and now that you know that, actually it will never really change. It will never mm -hmm. really change. I mean, it depends on your life. And at the moment you have physically quite a uh, busy life with a little boy. Mm -hmm. And you also have a nine-year-old daughter, so you're quite busy with two children. Mm -hmm. But in, in another way, your life is fairly relaxed and... Um, you don't have to lose contact with what's happened. Yes. And now is this busy life when I only stop or maybe go to afternoon meditation. It's very also change because before meditation was hard for me. Only sit and only thoughts coming. But now it's very deep meditation. Um, and this half of uh, half of hour of this meditation, and it's only um, silence, only quiet. Right, right. Only closing my eyes, maybe before sleeping, and also only falling in this uh, uh, quiet uh, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, some meditation is going to help you to keep the door open. Mm -hmm. It'll help to keep the door open because, uh, of course, we have a busy life. You also yes. have a busy life. And then we can identify again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I mean, the first time it happened five years ago, as I remember, uh, maybe shortly after it happened, you had some strong things happen in your life. I think your mother was getting sick. Yes. And then maybe she died a little bit mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. So this was a strong emotional, very strong emotional situation for you. And maybe that was something to do with it closing, the door closing, yeah? Yes, maybe yes. Mm -hmm. Because very strong things, uh, uh, yeah. Happened in your happened, life. Happened, happened yeah. in my life, yes. Right, right, yeah, yeah. But I remember, um, maybe it was now it's two months ago, when I met you again, yeah? So, mm -hmm. I mean, there was four or five years I didn't meet you. Mm -hmm. You were busy with your family. Mm -hmm. But um, when you came to the retreat about two months ago, the one we had in Trapelia, mm -hmm. and actually I was off offering everybody to sit in a circle. So yes. there was a kind of circle of energy going through everybody. Yes. And I remember the first morning you came and sat mm -hmm. in the circle mm -hmm. and I could sense immediately that mm -hmm. you actually could connect connect to this energy. Yes. Is it, was it like that? Yes, it was like this. And it's also very beautiful because I only sit in this chair, my chair in a uh, circle of people, and I felt like energy calm and... Uh, mm, yes. So, I mean, that was very beautiful, yeah, because yeah. it means that the door never really closes. Yes. The door never really closes. And you could, we could also say that maybe the door is always a bit open, and this is for everybody, that the door is a bit open. Yes, I also think about um, this, because not only this happened not only with me, it's a, a possibility for everyone. It's already, already have everyone have, have this possibility right. Right. Uh, because this silence, this quiet, this beautiful space already here right right inside everybody right right and um, yeah no 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 not not nothing um, uh, I don't have something sp sp special everyone have this right. Right. Beauty yeah. and silence. And particularly little children have it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because um, they, don't, they don't have this structure, mind structures and uh, thoughts and... Uh, right, right, um, right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's interesting because... Uh, you know, I think it's true that people like Buddha and Jesus, mm -hmm. they were pointing that, you know, we, we need to become innocent, you know? We need to become innocent like little children, 
Mm -hmm. And um, not exactly that we should become little children, of course, mm -hmm. because anyway, we're adults. But somehow in the way we live our life, we don't have to be so complicated. We don't have to be so much caught up in our ego. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, you can meet adults who have very strong childlike mm -hmm. characteristic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So Jesus uh, definitely said we should um, we should become uh, as young children. Yeah. 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 Live, live like young children. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is uh, oh, this is really true. This is really true. Very yes. beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But unfortunately, of course, in the society, in the in the life of the society. There is a pressure not to be innocent like young children, mm -hmm. but to be kind of clever mm -hmm. and um, competitive and powerful mm -hmm. and maybe even a bit aggressive and so on. So this yes. makes it very difficult for adults yes. to really trust the possibility that actually existence is mm -hmm. uh, doing our life. Yes. Yeah. We, we do nothing. Yeah. Right. We do nothing. Right. And now you've got your own knowing about yes. that, yeah? Yes, yes. Last days, two, two, two day, last two days, I opened your book, uh, um, in Indian Masters. Right. And it's only like, oh, maybe this page, a right. uh, page, and I, uh, I read and I understand all what, what about uh, this master's um, talk. Right. Before I try understand my mind by my mind, right. but now it's only understand from this no knowledge, this big, uh, what I, I already know, like not my mind, right. like this. So different knowing, yeah? Yeah, it's Complete different Complete different notes. knowing. Yes. And then you read some kind of spiritual words and you mm -hmm. immediately uh, can feel, yes, yes. this, this yes. is... Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. because I understand, I, 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 I feel the same. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very beautiful, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because this is a kind of confirmation for you also, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and even, even quite famous masters like Ramana Mahashi, for example, you know, he he was quite young when he was a teenager, mm -hmm. when he had something like this happen. And um, later, when he was older, he was saying, well, I didn't really know what happened, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was a sickness. Maybe I became sick, you know. Yes. Maybe I became mental problem. Yes. He didn't know. How do you know that? You know, he was 16 years old when it happened. Mm-hmm. But later, when he was, uh, maybe some people gave him spiritual books mm -hmm. and he could read these books, then in these books, like you just said, mm -hmm. he could recognize that what happened to him, mm -hmm. what he was seeing or feeling or knowing inside himself, mm -hmm. he could read it in the books. Yes. So this is a kind of confirmation. Yes. I'm not sick. I, yeah. you know. Yeah. Because for this happening, it's not not so easy um, explain this and uh, explain by words. It's not easy, and you uh, at first I um, I didn't understand what what is happening. Right, right, right. Yeah, and people who are close to you, like you, you're here with your husband, Bansi. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe it wasn't so easy for him in the beginning you know he, beginning, he look yes. at you on the mattress shaking mm. yes. um, and he doesn't he, know what's happened to you yes and he felt uh, fear about lost me uh, but now it's more more clear and more beautiful for him also because he also uh, connect with this um, space right. it's not only about me and it's Every, everybody uh, have this, already have. And uh, it's, uh, now I think it's very good for uh, our family. Right, right, 
Yeah, for, you're for all. clearly your daughter mm-hmm. is a very unusual girl. We we yeah. knew she was unusual when she was uh, four or five, mm-hmm. and now I meet her again when she's nine or nine or ten, and she has a tremendous capacity to be quiet. Yeah, very unusual actually. Yes. She, she enjoys coming to the meditation at yes. nine years old. Yes, and yes. so. Um, yeah. And was uh, when uh, this hap- uh, was happening two weeks ago, mm. and I la- lay on the mattress and uh, this shaking my body. My daughter also come to me, right. and she didn't uh, feel f- uh, fear or some oh my mama f- uh, you. Or, <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, she only smile. Right. Right. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's an unusual girl and of course um, as she grows up she's got now the benefit of mm-hmm. your bigger and deeper understanding than most mummies have yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah yeah so it's very nice for your daughter and of course for your husband and for your little boy who is yeah. just beginning to uh, mm-hmm to uh, develop himself yeah yeah i became uh, sleep very good because yeah. before i had some problem with sleeping uh, i won't sleep and i can't sleep right and now it's uh, very easy for me right. falling asleep right uh, it's right. also very good <laughs> mm. right and, and what what do you think has changed then about sleeping before you had some f- so, fear in your yes. mind? Or yes, I only lay on my bed and yeah. I, I, I start sinking. Right. And many, so, uh, many, many thoughts and many ideas. And um, I, I, I was tired about this sinking, but right. I can't do, I, I can... Can't stop. Can't, can't stop, yes. Right, right. But now when I... Uh, don't have this thinking so uh, many thoughts. I only rest and uh, relax, and I uh, fall in sleep very quick, quick, quickly. Right, right. Wow, that's very nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, um, you know, if you now would meet one of your friends, yeah, mm-hmm. what would you say to them, actually? I think. How um, would you share what's happened to you with somebody? who you know maybe doesn't have any interest about looking inside or meditating. So what would you say to that person? Um, maybe maybe some, to some friends I, I try something to explain what, what is happening, but um, maybe not. Maybe I... Um, I will not say anything, only stay with my friends on this present moment. And I think it's better because they also will feel this present move, uh, mo- moment and this our connecting and um, mm, like more natural, on not, not speaking, not talking maybe. Right. Because in the end, we can't easily explain this. Yes, yes, it's not... Mm, because you can't explain with words, actually. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Only be, 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 stay on this, uh, this moment, this quiet and silence. Right. So as you say, it's a change from thinking to being. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And this natural life. Right. This true life. True life. And right. now I understand that life before in the thoughts, in thinking, always thinking, it's not, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's not <laughs> true. It's, a, you, you are, I am, I, not life, no, not, not life. Right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the thing that's very sad for me as a spiritual teacher and meditation teacher is when I look around, 
there's so few people who come to understand what you're talking about, what you're now knowing for yourself. Mm -hmm. Very few people. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to understand really why it's like that. Because, of course, it's our nature. It's our mm -hmm. natural way to live. It's yeah. nothing special. Nothing special. Spiritual people sometimes talk about self-realization, or mm -hmm. sometimes they call it enlightenment or satori. Mm -hmm. They talk about it as being very, very special. Yeah? No, no. But when it happens, it's very ordinary, yeah? Yes. I think uh, many people around us also have these feelings and know, know this nature, this big truth. Yeah. Uh, but yes, maybe someone uh, live very quiet and not explain some somebody right. about this. Right. Right. It may be that in the past people mm -hmm. lived in a more simple way, you yes. know, in the nature, mm -hmm. growing their vegetables uh, yeah. in a village. Yes. And maybe in this life, this style of life it mm -hmm. could be that more people as you say just lived this natural yes. way yes i also uh, when thinking about these people who who know this truth uh, i i have this uh, picture or like image that it's a very simple life right. countryside village and maybe um, yes not in big city, because yeah. very busy, big city, very busy, and yeah. Um, yeah. you only come come to this noisy, mind noisy, and you forgot right. Right. your nature. It's interesting, because when this happened to me, I had been meditating for some years, quite, quite a lot of years, and after it happened, I continued um, out of the society mm -hmm. for about five or six years, yeah? And then um, it felt as if I had some kind of new power inside mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to... Um, actually, I went to live in Sydney in Australia, mm -hmm. a big city, not my own city. And... Um, and then I've lived uh, in other big cities yeah, mm -hmm. since then. So now for about 20, uh, more than 20 years, I've been living, uh, well, actually, in, 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 I've been li actually living, my home is actually in a village, but I'm spending also lots of time traveling and going to cities and meeting people. Mm -hmm. And I discovered that gradually over these years, nothing really touches mm -hmm. this space inside. Mm -hmm. So, in the beginning, I needed to stay out of the society. I mm -hmm. needed to stay quiet. I needed to stay alone mm -hmm. for some time. And then I can say that later, like now particularly, I have actually a very busy life. You know, I'm flying between three countries or mm -hmm. actually four countries. And I meet a lot of people. I'm talking a lot in meetings. But I don't lose that because yeah. somehow gradually it's like it becomes um, very grounded mm -hmm. inside. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this reason also uh, Ramana Maharshi also go to the mountain. Yes. yes. And uh, be uh, was alone. Yes. 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 For a number of years he was mostly just walking around on the mountain. Mm -hmm. sitting quietly. I mean, it, you need, I think, some years for this whole thing to to settle down inside because, in a way, it's a bit like a rebirth, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, is there anything else that you like to share? Mm, maybe not. No, no, no. I only maybe say that I now I don't worry about this closet, this door, 
because uh, 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 yeah. first time right. I um, I did I didn't want uh, to lose this space right. and this connection with the space, right. and I feel maybe fear about oh very quickly I lost this and oh it will it will it will be very bad, but now I don't worry about this. Right, right, yeah. So right. yeah, but now you're more mature and you had already the first time. And now this is, uh, you know, second time, and we'll see now what happens. You know, it may just naturally become more grounded inside you, mm -hmm. and the door never closes, mm -hmm. or maybe some things will happen in your life, and you get it identified again, and then it may close a bit. Mm -hmm. But um, we we don't know that. We can't yes. tell that. It, it, it depends on you. Yes, you must take care about not, yourself. It depends on me, yes. You must take care a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm.